Hello everyone, welcome to this video on algebraic problems based on 11 plus questions. Today I'm going to go through two types of questions. One that revolves around the grid of letters and numbers. And the second one that is more word based. And that's uh, in order to solve we're going to have to form an algebraic equation. So if you really want to master these high-level scholarship type questions and also hear some great fish puns, then you're in the right place. These may get tricky, so if you think, what is going on? This can't be happening. Then just keep watching the video again and have a second go so you have time to mull it over. Our first problem consists of a series of letters and numbers and we need to find out what A, B, C and D all equal. So as you can see, we have A plus D plus D plus D equals 29. There's two unknowns there. First thing I want to do is find a column where there's just one letter. Does that exist? Yes, it does. So I know that four of those A's equals 32. So in that case, one A has to equal eight. I can write my answer in there. And when you find one, you can find the others by just substituting in. So if A is 8, then 3D plus 8 equals 29. Take 8 away from both sides. 3D equals 21. So D equals 7. And once you know that D equals 7, you can use that to find out what B is. So... 7 plus 7, well let me write the equation now, it's 2D plus B plus A equals 28. I know that 2D equals 14, plus B plus 8 equals 28. Simplify, so we have 22 plus B equals 28. So then you know that the missing B has to equal 6. And then from that, we should be able to find out what C equals quite easily. If B is 6, we can go 6 is there, A is 8. And then the missing one, 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 6 is 22, so to 31, that means that C equals 9. Now you have a go, find out what X and Y equal using the numbers below. Okay, did you get x equals 30 and y equals 7 plus 8 plus 6 plus 8 which equals so 15, 21, 29. Well done if you got those correct. Okay so now it's your turn. Pause the video, have a go at finding what a, b, c and d all equal and then I will show you what the answers are. So did you see that 4b's equals 24? So in that case 1b equals 6. And then from there we have to look at this column at the bottom a plus a plus b plus b so 2a plus 2b equals 22. If I divide everything by 2, that means that a plus b equals 11. And we know that b is 6, so in that case a equals 5. Then the next thing I should do is look at a column where there's only two unknown letters. And in this case, it's this one here. So we know what A is, and we just need to work out what D is. So 5 plus 5 is 10, so 10 plus 2D equals 32. Take 10 away from both sides, 2D equals 22, so D equals 11. And then we can go into the last column down here, so to find C. 5 plus 11 is 16 plus 6 is 22. The difference between 22 and 31 is 9. So C has to equal 9. Well done if you got those correct. 
All right, the next type of question to look at is this one. So, we have a series of clues, and we want to find out how old each person is. So the first clue, the combined age of Alan and, and Ben is 43 years old. Then the combined age of Alan and Carl is 55 years old. And the combined age of Ben and Carl is 66 years old. And we want to work out how old each of them are and the combination, the total ages of all three. All right, so first thing you have to do here is make an equation from each sentence. So simply, I'm going to use the first letter for their name. So Alan and Ben, A plus B equals 43. Then A plus C equals 55. And B plus C, Ben and Carl equals 66. Okay, and this is where it gets tricky. We can't solve, looking at this as it is, what any of the letters are. So we have to do something very clever indeed. And that is this. We're going to add together two of the equations that have the same letter in it. Okay, so we have a choice. And I'm going to add, because this one and this one both have C in it, I'm going to add the equations together. Okay, so what we get is A plus C plus C, so plus 2C, plus B. And add those two together, and you get 121. Okay, I'm going to rewrite it like this. 2C plus A plus B equals 121. Now you're thinking, so how does that help me? Well, look back at our clues. Can you see anything around here that we can use? And yes, we know that A plus B equals 43. So instead of writing A plus B, I can just write 43 instead. So, my equation now is 2c plus 43 equals 121. Do a bit of calculation, and we can work out that 2c is 121. Take away 43, which equals 78. So then, 1c equals 39. So, Carl is 39 years old. And if we know Carl is 39, in that case, this equation here... A plus C equals 55, becomes A plus 39 equals 55. So Alan has to e equal 16. And then once we know Alan is 16 and Carl is 39, we can just find out what Ben is. So I'm going to use this equation up here. Alan, which is 16, plus Ben equals 43. So Ben has to equal 27. Okay. So now your turn to have a go. Now it's your turn. Have a go at this question involving Ronaldo, Messi and Ibrahimovic and how many goals they scored last season. Please don't check the numbers. I made them up so they may or may not be correct from last season. Okay, good luck. Have a go. All right, so let's see the scores on the doors. First thing, make an equation for each clue. R plus I equals 48. I plus M equals 54. Add two of your equations together. So I'm going to add those two. So adding everything together, 2R plus M plus I equals 110. And I'll use the third equation, i plus m equals 54, so that just replaces that, 2r plus 54 equals 110. So then 2r equals 56, and 1r is half of that. So Ronaldo scored 28 goals, not a bad return, he probably expected to score a few more. And then once you know Ronaldo, you can find out Messi and Ibrahimovic. So, if Ronaldo scored 28, 
Then Messi scored 34. And Ibrahimovic scored 20. Well done if you got those correct. Right then, well done for getting this far. And now it is your turn to become the master using everything that we have learned so far. So, just in the way that daniel Sun and Mr. Miyagi were able to defeat the evil karate kids at the Cobra Kai karate school with a combination of waxing on, waxing off, and one of the world's greatest ever crane kicks, we are now going to attempt this question. So, this is a tricky one. Have a go, pause the video, and then I will come back shortly to tell you how to do it and compare answers. Good luck! So let's go through these answers and see how you did. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at any columns or rows and see if there is just one letter in them. And unfortunately there is not. So this, this is why it makes it a little bit trickier. So then I have to look at any rows or columns that have maybe only two letters in them. And yes, there is. We're going to start with this one here. So I'm going to make an equation. Two A's and two B's equals 18. So I'll write that down. Then to simplify, I'm going to divide everything by 2, because every number is even here. So I get A plus B equals 9. And I'm going to use that to substitute into another column where A and B exist. And that is going to be here. So instead of A and B, I can write 9. So my new equation from this column is C plus C, 2C plus the A and B, so plus 9 equals 29. Take away 9 from both sides, I get 2C equals 20, and then C equals 10. So we found the first letter, and that opens up the answers for everything else. The next column or row I'm going to look at will involve the clues that I've worked out so far. And that is going to be this row here. So I know that A and B are 9. I know that C is 10. And we don't know that B yet. So I'm just going to write B plus 19 equals 21. Which means that B has to equal 2. So now that we know two numbers, we can just simply find the other remaining ones. So if B is 2, then A has to equal 7. And that means that D has to equal, we'll find a column with D in it, which will be this one here. So I know that C is 10, A is 7, B is 2. So in that case, 17, 19... So D plus 19 equals 32. So that means that D is 32. Take away 19, which equals 13. Very well done, and a virtual high five to you if you got all of those correct. If you didn't, watch the video again and see how I found the first letter to solve the rest. Okay, thank you for watching, and goodbye.